Hello, my name is Bob, the wedding floral consultant for Bunches Direct. How do you like that? Anyway, today I'm here, it's very serious. How to process flowers when you get them. And I'm going to show you the correct way of doing it. And I emphasize that word correct, because I'm very adamant about that. To start with, roses. People have the biggest problem with roses. Now, when you get these, they're going to be packed in a box, and they are wrapped like this. They come from South America, or wherever they come from, they wrap them, right? So, what you're going to do, take off this wrapping, and they're, they're wrapped tightly. This is for shipping purposes, okay? You take that off, cut that off. Throw that away. Right. Cut the bottom. Okay, there you have roses. See? Some are broke, which happens. Because they've been wrapped this tight. Okay, you get this, you get the first one out. To start with, these are a really great shape. I may come to one that isn't, but I'm not going to do this whole bunch. I'm just going to show you one or two. Oh, here's one. Okay, this one's a good one. You may see this little black here, and you'll say, oh, it's dead. It's not. These are the guard petals. You take them off, one by one. It's from handling and shipping. Inside is a beautiful bloom, which you'll eventually open. What you're going to do is take off the bottom leaves, right down to where the water line will start, probably be here. Take off these thorns. Roses have been a thorn in my side for years. Little pun there. Anyway, I thought I'd throw that in. Then you're going to cut it at an angle, like that. And you're going to put it in hot water. Yes, hot water. If your hand can stand it, the rose can stand it. I'll tell you a story about roses. They are notorious for getting air bubbles in the stem. Heat rises, right? Pushes the air bubble up. It's a proven fact that if you put them in hot water, it takes 30 seconds for that water to get up to that bloom. If you put it in cold water, it takes 24 hours. It's a proven fact. Put it in the hot water. After a few hours, or the next day, you may find that this is drooping. The air bubble did not go up. Recut it, shorter again, put it in hot water again in a separate container until that rose goes up, and believe me, it will. When you've got them all cut, you put it into a container and spray the heads with cool water. Get a mister, spray it. What fl all flowers like, especially roses, cool heads and warm feet, just like people. Get it? And that is the way you take care of a rose. Carnations. <clears throat> Not as fussy. They've gotten a bum rap lately because nobody likes them. They have a wonderful aroma, or not a fragrance anyway. They'll be very tight. Now, when you get them, cut them, put them into warm water. Don't put them in the fridge. Oh, spray the heads. Leave them out in room temperature. And keep spraying the heads, and they will open for you. And when you're working with them, if you're going to work with them, if they're still a little tight like this, just fluff them a bit. It will not hurt them. Carnations are the toughest flower you can ever want. Right. Now, let's go to mum. Chrysanthemums. Simple. Cut, put them in warm water. Now, one, a fact about uh, chrysanthemums, this is all the chrysanthemum family, daisies, ball mums, flat mums. Whatever state this bloom is at, when it was cut, it won't go beyond that. If it's a tight bud, any tight bud, there aren't any on here, that will not open. It does not continue. This is the chrysanthemum family too. This is a spider mum. Same thing, cut, put in warm water. It's very simple. Ah, uh, oh yeah. Birds. Birds of paradise. Here's a secret about that. Birds of paradise. They'll come in like that. And each pod has three birds in it. They're cold, right? They've been shipped, so on and so forth. 
To open them, this is the easy way of doing it, plunge that into warm water, the, the pod. Plunge it into warm water for about 15 or 20 minutes. And then take it out, and this will be all soft. And there's just gently, you'll be able to open this because it'll be soft. And very gently, pull the first pod out, very, very gently and eventually the others will follow. That's the secret of those. And don't put them in the fridge, don't ever, because they grow, grow in the tropics, right? They're used to warm, humid weather. Alstromeria. Alstromeria. Sometimes you'll get them like this. Cut them, put them in good warm water, that will eventually open and they last forever. Uh, Gerberas. A word about Gerberas. Everyone knows a Gerbera. I don't have any with me right now. But Gerberas are... Um, they can fool you. They look great. They're wonderful. Uh, they are uh, unpredictable, is the word I was looking for. They can last three days. They can last a week. And they don't like much water. Cut them, put them into maybe that much water. The more water you put in, the higher it goes up the stem, it, the stem will get soggy. And once the head of the Gerbera, that's the shape they are, falls over, it'll never come back. That's the myth about them. And that's it. This is Bunches Bob. Have fun with those blooms.